What's going on, everybody? So I just found out earlier today that Anthony Joshua has agreed to all of Tyson Fury's demands, the date and everything, December 3rd, 60-40 split, you name it. Big credit to Joshua for doing this, coming off of two losses, taking a big chance like this. And from Fury's angle, let's see if he really is a man of his word and says, you know what, I'm going to do this fight. Because I think he was just talking, but now he's kind of backed into a corner where if he doesn't take this and you know he doesn't agree to the terms that he laid out, Joshua agreed to, he looks like a, a big fraud. Me personally, I don't think it's going to happen. I think they'll make up some kind of counter argument why it can't happen. And he fights an easier fight to set him up for Usyk. But if he does, I kind of look at it as a little bit of a handicap because he's fighting Joshua coming off of two losses. And to me, I think Joshua has the best chance of beating Fury in the division, but not in this current state. I think what would be best for Joshua is getting a few tune-up fights and then going to fight the big fight versus Fury. And I think what would be best for the business of boxing would be Fury fights Usyk, beats Usyk, becomes undisputed, and then he makes himself the boss in the division and he could demand you know even you know better terms than he's demanding now and fight Joshua and then that's fight between Joshua and Fury if he did beat Usyk would be the best fight in the division so I think Fury's kind of handicapping Joshua a little bit he's kind of stacking things up in his favor and I think even if he did beat Joshua it would be looked at as not as great of a win as it normally would have been but that's his choice and he can go do that Let's see if Fury really is a man of his word. And December 3rd in Cardiff, they really do the fight because it would it would definitely be a big one, obviously. The biggest UK fight ever, obviously, between two massive stars over there. And it would be an exciting fight, I think, from an action standpoint. That's the fight to make at, you know, between Tyson Fury and anyone because we already saw what he did with Wilder. So we, we know, it, you know, we've seen that three times. I don't think Fury and Usyk's an exciting fight. So why not do an AJ and Fury fight? But I don't think he would get the credit that he would normally get for beating Joshua. So he's really taken like a bigger risk in my mind, like not from winning and losing, but like in terms of his reputation. Whereas Joshua, you got to give him credit. I mean, the guy, whatever you want to say about Joshua, I mean, he's always fighting top opposition and he's going right back in there with another killer. So I'm curious to see if the fight does happen. Does he keep Robert Garcia as his trainer or does he change trainers again? I think it would be a mistake to change trainers again. But that's all down the line. Let's see if they could actually agree to it and make this fight happen on December 3rd. Peace out.